Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this video, I will take you through that fascinating country of Pakistan, my place of birth, through some of my photographs that I have recorded during my many visits. These photographs will take you around different parts of the country and give you a flavor of what you might find there. So let's go and enjoy. So we start with the P, and P, of course, means Peshawar, that rugged frontier town in the northwest of the country, home of the Pathan, known to be a fearless warrior, but in reality, more of a gentle giant. Peshawar and the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province is also the home of the historical Gandhara Buddhist civilization. The largest collection of Gandharan art is found in the fabulous Peshawar Museum. Sprinkled across the entire country are beautiful examples of colonial architecture, such as the St. John's Cathedral, located in the cantonment area of Peshawar. The cathedral is part of the Church of Pakistan. From Peshawar, we move to the north of the country and the Gilgit Baltistan province, where the beautiful Atabad Lake is located. This lake was formed after a landslide in 2010. K is for Karachi, my birthplace, and this city, which runs to a beat all of its own, is full of shrines. It's a city by the sea, so there are beaches, bazaars, history, museums, everything that you would expect in a large metropolis such as Karachi. K is also for Kaplu. Here we see the Kaplu Palace, which is located in the northern areas of the Gilgit Baltistan province. A beautiful part of the country, accessible by road from Islamabad. K is also for the Khunjara Pass, the border crossing between Pakistan and China through a very mountainous region. Indeed, this border crossing is located 5,000 meters above sea level and well worth a visit, especially if you are in Hunza, in the north of the country. Here we see the Pakistan Monument in Islamabad, the country's federal capital, and probably the city with the most orderly traffic in the country. Islamabad is the gateway to the country's northern areas, including Gilgit Baltistan province, a short drive from Peshawar as well as Lahore. Located in the north of the country's Sindh province is the city of Sakhar. Sakhar lies beside the mighty Indus River and is home to the Sakhar Barrage and a short drive away from the historic city of Moinjo Daro or the Indus Valley Civilization, also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One additional entry for S. S is the Swat Valley. Located in the country's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, it was also part of the ancient Gandharan civilization. In the right photograph, you see a Buddhist stupa, and in the left, lush green fields. This valley is beautiful, great place for resting, relaxing, and unwinding. Well, it wasn't easy to find something with a T, but I did ultimately. And that is the Tezgam train. 
Pakistan Railways runs many trains across the country. The Tezgam is my favorite train running from Karachi all the way north to Islamabad. Pakistan Railways doesn't have any high speed trains, so we take the sleeper and sleep almost all night with the clackety clack of the trains on an old traditional diesel electric railway network. Is for the arts. Pakistan is well known for its blue tiles, its pottery, its music, and many other traditional forms of art. Look at these two doorways in the photograph, as well as a musician who is playing at a shrine of a famous Islamic Sufi saint in Sindh province. No video on Pakistan will be complete without a reference to Pakistani food. The barbecued food, the dals, the curries, uh, and everything else in between, and of course the sweets if you enjoy desserts. But for N, I have chosen the naan, the humble naan, which is so delicious, especially when taken fresh right out of the oven. Here we see a naan bai in Peshawar. Thank you very much for watching my video and visiting my channel. Here are some of my other social media and contact sites. Please do connect with me and see you again soon.